One of the big problems, not only with Ben Shapiro, but with right-wing commentators in general, is they always just massively overreach. So they'll go out, they, they won't only say you're wrong. They'll say, like, you're evil and nefarious, and you are, your intentions are impure, right? And it happens all the time. Like, all of right-wing commentary is based on that. Is <laughs> based on, like, how can I viciously strawman the opposition and pretend they don't even have a semblance of a point while morally grandstanding myself? And this comes through so much with Ben Shapiro, and specifically on this issue of Israel. Now, we all know this animated the Daily Wire and Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring so much that they parted ways with Candace Owens. She was fired. Apparently, the day before she went on air, she was like, well, you know, we'll see you guys tomorrow. The day before she was fired, she was saying, oh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, whatever. Uh, so clearly, they fired her. Um, and all the talk about free speech, free speech, now all of a sudden it's, ah, the, uh, the Overton window trying to limit some things are not acceptable. Okay, so you, now you sound like you would rip Twitter, you would rip New York Times for, oh, anti-free speech. Now you're using the same arguments. Hey, we're a, we're a publisher, not a platform, so it's okay when we do it. Anyway, here's how far gone Ben Shapiro is on this issue. Look at this. The Biden administration is now effectively preparing to make aid to Israel contingent on unspecified changes to Israeli policy which means that Israel can do little or nothing to appease the White House. Hamas is now in control of the Biden administration. Hamas is now in control of the Biden administration. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything more wrong than this tweet. Like, it's the inception of wrongness. It's wrong within wrong within wrong within wrong. We're going layers deep on this bitch, okay? Let's surgically break it down. The Biden administration is now effectively preparing to make aid to Israel contingent on unspecified changes to Israeli policy. Hey, Ben. I'm sure you've heard this before. But the thing to look at is not words. It is actions. You would probably say yourself, I don't care what a politician is saying. I care what they're doing. Right? If the actions don't line up with the policies, then... Why would I put any credence in your words? I would dismiss them out of hand and just look at your record, right? If we use that frame of analysis to the point you just made, you're wrong. They're not conditioning dick to Israel. They're not. How many times have they sent them more money and more weapons after another thousand women and children were blown up from the sky? How many times? They keep sending money. They keep sending weapons, even immediately after Israel commits a war crime and then announces, hey, we're going to do another massive land grab, illegal land grab in the West Bank. The Biden administration goes, we don't agree with that. That's concerning. Anyway, here's more money and weapons. So right off the bat here, you're just wrong. The idea that, oh my God, they're being so stringent with their rules and regulations and restrictions against Israel. The Biden administration has now come out over a dozen times and said, uh, we don't really agree with what Israel's doing here, and we're, it's concerning, and, you know, hey, we believe in international law, and they should be more deliberate and cautious and specific in what they're doing, and they'll, be, b -b 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 they'll yap, they'll say that, but then Israel doesn't listen, and the U.S. keeps sending money and keeps sending weapons and keeps doing the finger-wagging public, we're not totally in agreement with this, even though we're going to keep sending money and weapons. So you're just wrong, Ben. You're just wrong. Biden has been, unfortunately, greenlighting everything to Israel behind the scenes. In fact, there were stories from a few months ago where in the private conversations, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, they'd be like, look, help us to help you, right? Help us to help you. Give us some sort of a PR win so that we can then go around and be like, see, they are following international law. They are caring about Palestinian civilians. You know, they're trying to get them to do a variety of different things to just give them a PR win. So they can obfuscate and deflect and buy them more time to finish what they're doing. That's the reality, Ben. Then he goes on to say, which means Israel can do little or nothing to appease the White House. Israel is the most belligerent, over-the-top, aggressive, asshole fucking nation I've ever seen in terms of how the government acts and what the IDF is doing. And again, the U.S. is still funding and arming them. So they can do whatever they want. They get away with it. And he says Hamas is now in control of the Biden administration. That's right. Joe Biden, the guy who called himself a proud Zionist since like the fucking 1970s, he's been saying that. The guy who repeatedly says, if it wasn't for Israel, there wouldn't be a Jew safe in the world. The guy who has 
countless times sent more money and more weapon and provided cover for Israel. Joe Biden is Hamas now. Look, what this goes to show you, it's actually a very simple takeaway. What this goes to show you is you're not allowed to break with Israel even just to virtue signal or give rhetoric that I don't really like carpet bombing children. You're not even allowed to do that without Ben Shapiro going out there and calling you, he hopped right over anti-Semite. He went deeper and worse. He went, you're Hamas. If you utter a peep of disagreement with Israel, even if you agree and, and allow all the horrible policies, if you have a peep of disagreement, you're either an anti-Semite or you're literally Hamas. So look, there was a time when I thought it would be unfair to say, you know, oh, Ben Shapiro, he's all about like Israel first and not America first. Now, when I look at this, I'd, how, can, how can anybody disagree with that? How can anybody disagree that he's Israel first? This has Israel first written all over it. The U.S. president is Hamas because he 100% greenlights everything Israel does, but sometimes says, please don't do that. He's Hamas. So nobody can disagree with Israel in any way, shape, or form, or want to cut off our money and our webs. He feels like Israel is entitled to my tax money and your tax money. And weapons. He feels Israel is entitled to that. And if you disagree, you're an anti-Semite or you're Hamas. Ben, nobody is buying your absolutely idiotic Horse shit. You look like a fucking idiot. You look like an idiot. And as we just talked about with Sam Harris, you guys tell me, how many uh, uh, breakdowns has Ben Shapiro done of his numbers here? I'm just curious. 41,496 dead Palestinians, of which 37,600 are civilians, over 15,000 kids, over 9,000 women. How many segments has he done on this? How many segments has he done on the 2 million homeless Palestinians whose homes got bombed by Israel, even though they're civilians, they didn't do anything wrong? How many segments has he done on the 349 healthcare workers who Israel killed, murdered? How about the 136 journalists? How many segments has he done expressing concern? Oh my, yeah, they, they, maybe they went too far. Maybe... We all know the answer to that question. He just pretends like these things don't exist and insists that Israel is moral and just and righteous. And the Palestinians are evil, murderous, anti-Semites. And even Joe Biden is Hamas. Why? Because he dares to, as he greenlights everything Israel does, he dares to publicly say, hey, can you not uh, kill as many kids, maybe? What a joke. I honestly can't believe anybody could watch this guy and take him seriously. I just can't. I can't wrap my mind around it. It's just... Is it just the fact that he talks fast? And that tricks people into thinking that he's smart? Like, hey, he's a motor mouth. He must be right. No, he's an arrogant, weasley little prick who happens to talk fast, but the substance is not there. Anyway, um, Joe Biden is a moss. You learn something new every day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now.